let's look at advanced keyframing in terms of what happens when you add keyframes in the effect preview monitor versus the effect editor. First, by default, if you click the add keyframe button here in the effect preview monitor, Media Composer adds keyframes to all parameters in the effect editor. And if you make adjustments here in the effect preview monitor, Media Composer automatically adds a keyframe here in the position bar. But notice keyframes only get added to specific parameter groups in the effect editor. Scaling and position, in this case. Now, you have multiple options for adding keyframes here in the effect editor. You can add a keyframe to all parameters by right-clicking the effect keyframe track here at the top. You can also add keyframes to specific keyframe tracks by right-clicking a group or a parameter. In each case, Media Composer also displays a keyframe in the effect keyframe track and here in the position bar. When working with an effect that uses advanced keyframes, you'll find an Add Keyframe button here at the bottom of the effect editor. When you click this, a list appears, and you can choose an available option. Let's take a quick look at one more option. You can right-click a parameter, group, or the effect keyframe track, and change keyframe interpolation for one, multiple, or all parameters. For example, if we right-click the scaling group, we can change the interpolation for both X and Y. With that, you're ready to explore advanced keyframing.